Uh, my name is Keith Burns. I was born in Dublin in 1974. Um, I drew from a young age, probably from about the age of four. Then I followed art through the education system, so you know, through primary school, secondary school. Then I went and did A levels and then foundation course, and then went to Birmingham University in England in about 18, 1994. And then after two years, I was encouraged to find a different career because they told me I couldn't paint or draw. So the uh, new project I'm doing with Gareth Ennis uh, is called Out of the Blue. It's a sequel to a story that he wrote in about, I think it was published in 2002 by Vertigo. He did, he did two collected series of um, war stories books. And this one particularly was called, um, the one that we're following on from, is called Archangel. Obviously with Gareth stuff it's always historically accurate. So all the facts, all the, all the bits about the aircraft and the base and the type of missions that were flown are completely accurate, but then obviously the characters and the story have kind of made up within that. My love from, for aircraft and specifically World War II aircraft started with, like most people's uh, fascination with things, was with Star Wars when I first seen that as a child, and then got the toys for Christmas. So the idea, you know, I had an X-Wing and a snow speeder and an ATAT, and the idea you had this big thing in front of you that was, you know, a solid piece of hardware and you could look at it from any angle and you could, you know, revolve it and see how all the bits work and there's lots of really detailed stuff. You know, I spent quite a lot of time figuring out how to make them move and all that's done in, in layouts because that's the thing that interests me is trying to capture the, the movement and the kinetic energy and the, the kind of dynamism of, of the flight. Um, so that was done with just messing around with models for years, you know, angling them and looking from different angles, trying to find the best way to capture in one shot to make it look like it's really moving. <music> this page, if I remember, was, um, it was a squadron of mosquitoes, so that's the aircraft, there's um, fire bomber mosquitoes that had uh, rockets under the rails. We, we didn't put an actual squadron marking on, we made our own one up so it didn't you know, link to any specific squadron. Um, so the LG is a squadron type and then T specifically um, indicates the main character's aircraft. So that then obviously helps every time you're working on it because you, you can identify which aircraft it is but also it, it lets me know where each aircraft is supposed to be you know, in, in the shot. So on this one specifically, we're looking past Jamie's aircraft at the action, so we're following over his shoulder into it where they're attacking a convoy. So there'll be lots of cargo ships, and then they'd have flak ships as well. So the flak ships were the ones with the guns that would, would shoot back and try and defend the cargo ships. But most of the cargo ships would also have bits and bobs of weapons on them. All the aircraft have to be moving at slightly different angles to give it movement. So as they're all flying in the same direction and they're flying fast, they're being buffeted about by the wind. So you have to show that by having everything at a slightly different angle. So usually the, you know, the angle of, of drama, if you tilt everything, it makes it look a lot more dramatic. So all the ships are going across in the distance. You've got some in the, in the foreground here, you can see some bits of detail of um, figures and the, and the guns on, and they're you know, solid black. But then as you drift back into the background, the thing I'm always interested in, in paintings and doing comic pages is, is getting the depth in. So all the ones in the background are kind of greyed out a bit, so they're more suggested that than the ones in the foreground. Um, with this next one following the plane in, attacking the cargo ship, there was always lots of, when the bullets are hitting the water, there's always lots of white spray, so I quite enjoyed that, but I, I do that using gouache. Um, and the same principle here, so you've got the, the aircraft going in at an angle, so it looks dramatic, and then the ship at a different angle, so you've got this kind of shape here to it. I became a full member of the Guild of Aviation Artists probably about two or three years ago. And I started that because that, that was then a, a natural kind of progression then from spending probably the last four or five years working on World War II aviation comics. And each page you're just laying out, you know, four or five panels on each, on each page. So you're constantly thinking about the composition and how to make an aircraft look like it's moving. And all that stuff automatically transfers into, into paintings and it actually, I discovered it was a really kind of um, what a really amazing lesson to learn because it was doing it you know thousands and thousands of times laying out all these tiny panels so then when it comes to just doing one aviation paint I only have to do it once and it seems easy now because I've had all that background. Mm -hmm. 